You might have heard about Power BI, um, visual data analytics, and dashboards, but every time we talk about that, the question comes, okay, um, what software do I need to use? Is it a costly software? Um, how can I really uh, start using Power BI? We have a special guest and expert here who is going to answer that question, Jim Carlo, uh, who is the SME on Power BI and has uh, created transformations on projects that he has been involved in by utilizing Power BI. So, uh, Giancarlo, let us know more about the software and the tools that we need to have in place to be able to create those visuals and uh, interactive dashboards using Power BI. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. So, Power BI is a really powerful tool for reporting and to integrate all your different data sources. And what you need to know about Power BI is that it is comprised of two main components that actually complement each other. So on one hand, you will have Power BI service that is the web-based solution from Power BI, right? So you just work that with internet. So you just connect to internet, you sign in and you will get all your dashboards on the cloud, right? And that is the best way where you can publish and share those dashboards with your target audience. So on the cloud, you are gonna start sharing those dashboards to, for people to get access to them and they can see them lively and just with a web-based link, right? So just by using internet. So no need of uh, emails, no need of sending a PDF. You just share with them a web link. They will get access to an interactive report where they can drill down, they can scroll down and interrogate your data as they wish, right? So that is one part of the software. And then the second part that complement as well is the Power BI desktop. And that is a software, uh, the part of Power BI you install in your computer and you basically you use that to build your dashboards. So you, you put all that kind of, all the steps and the transformations uh, that you want to apply to your data within Power BI desktop and then you will publish from desktop to send that through up to the cloud. And from the cloud, you share that with the, with the audience. So that's the way the workflow you, you want to follow with Power BI. It's similar to, if we want to put that in contrast, this uh, is similar to when you use a Primavera P6, you have Primavera uh, P6 client, that is the, the desktop application you install in your computer, but you can also summarize and publish that to Primavera uh, P6 web, and then you can have a cloud-based environment to show the, the results uh, on there. So it, it's quite similar to, the, to that concept that way you, you use Power BI. Well, the great news of this is that you don't need to invest nothing at all to start with Power BI because Power BI is for free. You can just enter to Power BI, uh, to Microsoft uh, web page. you can find Power BI and you can sign in by free and the full, the full licensed Power BI will be uh, available for you. The full uh, AI desktop license will be available for you. Then when you get more advanced and you want to start sharing those reports with different audience, you want to embed that on, on Teams, on SharePoint, on your internet, well, you will need to get to a point where you need to uh, upscale your, your, your Power BI license, but uh, you start with the free one. And then you want to go to Power BI Pro or Power BI Premium that are paid uh, licenses from Power BI, but you only will need to get to those just when you are well advanced in the use of the platform. So that for me kind of, there's no excuses for you guys to not start with Power BI when you have a, a, a tool for free, don't you think? Absolutely. Yes, no excuse whatsoever when you can just go download it and get started with it and experimenting with that. So just a question. So uh, the free version, is it um, a specific duration for that? Let's say 30 day trial or as soon as you just download it, you can use it forever. Because if, for example, with P6, it's just a 30 day trial. With other software, it's just some duration for the trial. How about Power BI? Is it absolutely free? I mean, the basic one? or it's just some trial period for that? It's absolutely free. It's a perpetual license you have for free within the Power BI desktop. And then when you start using Power BI service, 
then uh, you will have kind of the features of that Power BI free uh, license within the service as well. And then you can upgrade to Power BI Pro trial for 60 days without any charge. Uh, so you can taste Power BI for, uh, Pro for free for 60 days uh, on the cloud. So, but the, the main one, the Power BI desktop is perpetual for free. So you never need to, to pay anything for that. Fantastic. And to download, they have to go to powerbi.com, I guess, to download it, right? Exactly. exactly. There, there will be one kind of, uh, one thing to, to, to note it down, that is to, to get a, a kind of a user account with Power BI service, uh, you will need to have um, whether a company uh, domain or uh, your college or university domain. You cannot create a, a free account using your a, a public uh, a domain like Gmail, Hotmail, you can't do that, unfortunately. You, you will need, whether it's a company or if you have a kind of from your university, from your college, an uh, uh, email account, you can use that one as well. Okay, great. Thanks for clarification. So another question, Giancarlo, is whenever we talk about Power BI, always this question comes, okay, there is another business intelligence tool um, like uh, Tableau. So um, is this the same? Does it have the same capabilities? Do you recommend uh, Power BI over Tableau? What are your thoughts on that in terms of comparison between Power BI and Tableau? Yes, that's a really, really good question. And I think that there's been a lot of discussion between them. And um, there is not only Tableau and um, Power BI, there are some, some others as well, like, uh, like Click is another really good uh, uh, business intelligence tools as well. But if we want to think about where we want to be, basically, um, my opinion, my view on these guys is that they, they are all great tools. They're, if you start with Tableau, with Click, with Power BI, they are all great. Um, but I think where Power BI really excels is when, when we talk about uh, compatibility, flexibility, and data integration. I think Microsoft have done, has done an amazing job in that regard because Power BI allows you to connect so many different data sources, much more the, the the number you can you can get with Tableau or with Click and and I think they are leveraging on the, the current platform they have so Microsoft has this Office 365 so Power BI can directly connect to Excel Microsoft uh, project with PowerPoint with Power Apps so many different tools you can you can connect with with, with Power BI then if I want to to, to tell so to be honest, Tableau has uh, its own benefit. I think they are really strong in terms of visuals and, and the way you can visualize the different uh, the, the data you're collecting. I think that they have really good uh, visuals, but Power BI is catching up and they are kind of updating, uh, releasing monthly updates. They're increasing the number of visuals they have. So that is giving all the strength right now to Power BI to lead the market. And if I want to, to just to uh, corroborate that with some figures, I think that that's important for you guys. If you want to make up your minds really quick. And I, I, I'm pretty sure you have heard about the Gartner uh, quadrant, the magic quadrant of Gartner. So they, they, Gartner provides every year a quadrant just to, to, to show which are the, the best tools to use. And they have a different a quadrant, different quadrant for different purposes. So BI is one of them, business intelligence. And if you see a magic, a Garnet Magic Quadrant for 2020, you will find Microsoft on the top leading the market and Tableau is gonna be the second one uh, over there, but it's not, it's not uh, there yet. So Microsoft being evolving so much that it's leading the, the, the market in, in terms of BI tools. So I think that will give you more confidence to you guys to, to make your minds up and, and choose a, at, at this time, I think Power BI as the main tool for BI. So that was great. Thank you so much, uh, Jean Carlo, for sharing your insight on uh, the software related to Power BI, the difference between Power BI and Tableau. Now, are there any other business intelligence tools available? I know your recommendation at the top is Power BI, but are there anything else that's coming or are already available? 
Yes, definitely. And, and this is a really good point because if we think a, a couple of years ago, business intelligence was such a kind of a, a taboo and, and really constrained topic because it was only a, it was only kind of allowed to big companies that they already implemented ERP uh, solutions in their in their companies like Oracle or E. So those those softwares they they come together with a, a BI component. So they were kind of the only ones who were able to to generate BI insights using the ERP solution solutions. Uh, ERP are these enterprise resource planning uh, big tools, but they are really expensive. So, so that uh, left no room for medium or uh, little companies to to take advantage of that. And nowadays, there are so many kind of open source BI uh, tools popping up in the scene that is actually making a disruption in the market and it's providing us, the, the data analysts, the project analysts, with tools to assess and really have a good understanding of our data and the project performance. And if you go, as we said before, to the Garnet Ma Magic Quadrant for 2020, and you want to see what is the, the kind of the, the landscape of that. This is the Magic Quadrant for 2020 for analytics and business intelligence tools. And this is what I was talking before about Microsoft with Power BI leading, leading the market in this regard, uh, just because they are offering more vision completeness completeness of visions and they are more able to execute uh, the bi uh, features within microsoft tableau is going to be the, the second one kind of trying to follow up that trend but microsoft by is is by far the leader uh, at this moment and even now in 2021 there is a new magic quadrant that is, is to be released where microsoft is just kind of uh, blooming over there so it's just leaving tableau well behind but there are some other uh, really good bi tools like locker like click they're really good ones uh, as well people can get their hands on and you will find again that the same ones that were the traditional ones like for example oracle erp or sap erp but they are really really falling behind because they cannot cope with the amazing features that Power BI with Microsoft is providing in an open source free for the user. Great comparison. That was such a good visual you showed us and so many open source uh, business intelligence tools. I had no idea. Thanks for sharing those, Giancarlo. And as we mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, uh, the basic Power BI uh, is free. So if you are not really tapping into Power BI, you are really falling behind. It's a new technology and can really transform the, the way that you manage and uh, control your project reporting and you generate your reporting. So just go out and just download that free version and start ex experimenting with it. And if you want to really be trained on that and uh, uh, just uh, going through, not going through the hassles of trial and error and learning from an expert, the good news is we have the step-by-step -step training that can allow you to really learn Power BI as it applies to project controls. Because Power BI is like, uh, let's say, let's Excel. You might find training on Excel, but something that's applied to project controls, they might not be there out there. So the good news is Giancarlo and I at Project Control Academy have collaborated and created that training for you. So if you're interested in really learning this tool, so join us on this training. Again, the detail is on this video and this video description. Check it out and join us, join us on this training. We look forward to serving you. Uh, so, but again, if you have not downloaded Power BI, I hope by the end of this video, you are encouraged to go and download the free version and start experimenting with it.